Hello Mila, hello Jack, hello everybody else who's watching. Welcome to Storytime with Grandad. Today's book is from Bob the Builder and it is Pilchard's Big Surprise. One morning, Bob gathered his team together in the yard. He had somebody with him, somebody new. Team, I want you to meet Rupert Rikki, said Bob cheerfully. Hello Rupert, chorused. Scoop, Muck, Dizzy and Lofty. Mr Reeky's a glass artist, said Wendy. He makes things by recycling old glass. Rupert and I designed a glass studio together, Bob told the team. And now we're going to build it. Suddenly, Rowley rushed into the yard, looking worried. Pilchard, where are you? he called. That's Rowley. Wendy told Rupert, and Pilchard is Bob's cat. I've got a cat called Sprat, said Rupert. He's always disappearing. Cats do that. Rowley was worried about Pilchard. He couldn't find her anywhere. Pilchard, Pilchard, Rowley called. Then, by accident, he bumped into a pile of tyres. Suddenly, out of the pile crept Pilchard. Meow, she mewed, grumpily. Then, with a cross look at Rowley, she ran away. I'm so clumsy, said Rowley, sadly. No wonder Pilchard doesn't want to play with me. Rowley followed Pilchard to the playground and raced around after her. Then he slowed down. I need to be more careful, he thought. Being clumsy is what upset her last time. Even though he was trying to be careful, Rowley crashed into the slide. Down slipped Pilchard, landing in a pile of leaves. Meow, she mewed, crossly at Rowley, and walked off, leaving Rowley feeling sad. Meanwhile, Bob was working on the roof for Rupert's studio when Packer arrived with a big oven on his trailer. My furnace, said Rupert. Fantastic! Packer had something else for Rupert too. Three sacks full of jars and bottles. I'll use this hot furnace to melt all the old glass to make new glass, Rupert told the team. I'm making some stained glass windows for the roof of my studio. Rowley followed Pilchard to Scarecrow Cottage, calling after her, but Pilchard dashed off again. Spud came out to see what all the noise was about. Pilchard's stopped being my friend, because I'm too clumsy, said Rowley sadly. Spud had a brilliant idea. Why don't you pretend to be a cat? Cats are never clumsy. He started to walk on his hands and knees and purr just like a cat. Rowley wiggled a pretend tail. Pilchard, come and play with Rowley, the big green cat, he sang. Then he wiggled so hard that he knocked over the hay bales. Pilchard leapt out from under the hay and meowed crossly at Rowley. Then she ran towards the studio with Rowley chasing after her. Rowley didn't see the sacks on the ground that Rupert was coming to collect. Suddenly there was a crunch. Rowley looked under his roller and saw lots of pieces of broken glass. Oh no, he gasped. I must have run over some of Mr. Reeky's glass art. Just then, Bob and Rupert arrived with a beautiful stained glass panel to put in the studio roof. Rupert's cat, Sprat, came to take a look and tangled himself between Bob's ankles, purring loudly. Sprat, no, cried Rupert, but it was too late. Bob tripped over Sprat and the glass panel fell to the ground with a smash. Oh no, groaned Rupert. I spent ages making that panel. Rowley rolled slowly forwards. I'm sorry, Mr. Reeky, but 
I had a bit of an accident with some of your art too, he said, blushing. Nervously, Rowley showed Rupert the pile of glass he had crushed. But instead of being angry, Rupert smiled. Don't worry, Rowley, that wasn't my art. I can melt this broken glass and use it to repair the panel, he said. So Rupert sorted the glass into different colours and melted it in the furnace. Once it had cooled, he moulded it into new shapes. After some time, the new panel was finished. Bob and the team stood back to admire the new stained glass studio roof. Look, Rowley, it's you, Bob laughed, pointing at the picture, which showed a smiling Rowley with Pilchard and Spratt. Thanks, Mr. Reeky, that's great, Rowley said, beaming. I wish I knew where Pilchard was, though. And where's Spratt? wondered Rupert. Suddenly, Rowley heard a meow and saw Pilchard's tail waving from behind a bush. There she is, he gasped. And look, whispered Wendy. Huddled around Pilchard were three fluffy kittens. Pilchard's a mummy. Along came Spratt and rubbed up against Rowley. Spratt must be the daddy, laughed Wendy. He wants you to be Uncle Rowley. Rock and roll! sang Rowley proudly. The end. Goodbye, Mila. Goodbye, Jack. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.